Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're all having a great day. So today we're going to be talking about uh, taking off in your ship. And this is universal. This is all ships. When you're at a hangar and you're taking off, uh, or anywhere and you're taking off, I believe that this is going to be the most optimal way to do so, to have your ship prepared for anything that is to come out in the black. All right. And also, I will be talking about the best way to leave your ship in an unsecure location, which is basically not armistice, right? So if you're choosing to bed log or if you're going to do some kind of mining and you're taking your rock a ways away from your ship, and you know how to lower the signature of your ship um, to better hide yourself from anybody that's just out there uh, with the intention to do you harm. So, step one, obviously, is going to be to power on your ship. Okay, as soon as you power on your ship, cycle to shields. If you're, if you're in a hangar, go ahead and hit your hangar doors. Alright, so here, go ahead and select your mission, whatever mission it is that you want. You know, so let's say if I'm doing bounty, whatever, HRT, group HRT. Okay, I would select that, and then I'd hit F2, go to my map, I'd set whatever coordinates. Okay, now I'm done with that, shields are up. All right, cycle back to weapons. Let my weapons go all the way up. Okay, hangar doors are already open and ready to go. Go ahead, put your velocitor up and go ahead and take off if that's all that you needed. Okay, now personally for me, there's an extra step that I like to take, and that has to do with the MFDs. So if you're in a ship and the MFD constantly cycles and it doesn't exactly have the MFDs that you want on display, it might take a little bit longer for you to leave your hangar than, let's say, somebody in, like, a Gladius, right? Um, but the same step in, that I'm about to explain should be done in a Gladius as well, because it's something that's really, really annoying. So, on the Gladius, you have four MFDs, but you can only see the top two. However, in most ships, your target status, for whatever reason, this MFD will go away whenever you're either target hailed, uh, request docking or if the UEE stops you for scanning purposes and what happens is the display of the person or the other player or a static you know image you know will come up and let's say you're in combat you know and, or let's say you're targeting somebody that target will now disappear because the comms will interfere with your target status okay so what I like to do is I like to take an MFD and dedicate that MFD to comms usually I'll take shields and I'll just put it there now for some people that like to mess with your shields and things like that you can use a separate MFD if you so choose if that's something that you prefer but for me I use shields because I basically do power management and I keep my power management there now and I mainly keep my power management here at the bottom simply just because it helps as a visual aid for people that watch I have my power management set to my hat since I run dual stick but for those of you that run F5, F6, F7, and F8, um, I really suggest having this here as a visual representation to know exactly where is your power being managed, where is it set to, right? And of course, self-status being the most important thing, if you want to manage and monitor your shields from here as well as your ship's hull life, that is essential and is a must. It should always be on the top left or top right as well as target status on the top left or top right. Once you have your MFDs set and you're ready to go, that's all it's going to take and you're ready to take off. Okay, so same thing in reverse, right? Let's say we're landing somewhere and we're doing mining or bed logging and we want to make sure that our ship is going to have the lowest possible signature. Well, of course, you could just turn the ship entirely off, but that would also leave you vulnerable for someone that, let's say, does find your ship because your ship won't have any shields on it, so they'll just be able to blow it up. But if you lower your signature by basically turning off your weapons, weapons. it creates heat and it draws power that you're not really utilizing. Turn off your engines. engines. You're landed and don't need them. Okay. I also like to go at an extra step and sometimes even go, depending on how long I'm going to take or how long I'm going to be gone, and I'll turn off my missile systems. So now, as you can see, like I have no power to weapons, no power to shields, no power to missiles, and the only thing that's on is basically my MFD. Everything else on the ship is completely off. So this would make your signature much lower, 
it would be a couple more kilometers away that they would have to come closer or a couple more kilometers nearer to you to be able to spot you all right so that's a good thing if you're doing mining bed logging or anything really so more so on atmosphere than in space if you obviously if you quantum jump and you're somewhere deep space and you cancel your quantum in the deep space you can still take this measure it would obviously it's always a great idea and application um but you don't necessarily have to if you do that method. But I, I strongly suggest that you do. And for the last step is always keep your power to shields. And the reason is because if, let's say, there's an AI cutty or something that's shooting your ship, and let's say you're doing something simple like, um, you know, you're rock mining, right? And you'll have enough time to drive your rock back into your ship and hopefully be able to take off unharmed with you know minor damages to your ship if your shield can maintain itself or at least if they're let's let's be serious here the ai right now is not very intelligent so they they do a lot of burst shots and then they stop and then they stop for a while your shields will replenish this will be a good way to keep your shield replenishing faster so it gives you a longer time to either escape or to address the threat accordingly so aside from that, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I know this is a really simple video. Some of this stuff um, a lot of you might have known. Some of you may not have known. Or maybe a lot of you have just been landing your ship, powering off everything and just running out. Or maybe some of you have already been practicing these really good um, you know, tips already. And let me know in the comments how, ma how many of you have actually been doing this already. And how many of you actually didn't even think to even do this um i'd really like to know guys so aside from that um let me know if there's anything else you guys would like me to cover i kind of want to make a series um also where um, i'm gonna start taking your comments and making a video replying to your comments and um, i'm also considering doing like a live stream podcast where I actually have discussions and if any of you guys are interested in coming on for a call and actually talking about the game talking about you know things you want to see talking about patch notes talking about the PTU or basically anything Star Citizen related is also something I'm very interested in doing let me know what you guys think about that and I'll see you guys in the next one have a great day